What's up guys? I'm here with another review for you and today I'm reviewing Falcon the Winter Soldier. Yes, I know I'm about two months late with this review, but y'all know I was trying to graduate. So I'm here with it now. I'm giving you a season review of the series. Basically, you're seeing Sam and Bucky as this buddy comedy duo, basically trying to figure out the world post blip. Now, I wouldn't say this is a spoiler since it's already been out, but we basically get to see Sam's journey to eventually becoming Captain America. And, you know, this was a whole thing during the time we were watching is like, oh, why are you guys making it about race? Because the show is essentially about race. And I didn't, I don't think the writer expected the show to gravitate this much when they originally set it up because they weren't expecting, you know, quarantine to happen. They weren't expecting a entire way show revolution to happen. So this hit different for us. This hit different for me. By episode two, I already knew what was going on because I was like, wow, this is hitting me in my ancestors. This is hitting me in my gut because you're seeing Sam's journey. You're seeing, you know, we get to see a black Captain America from back in the day that was basically treated horribly. This reminded us about so many times in history where black people were mistreated you know, from veterans to the Tuskegee experiments, it was just a lot. And, you know, on the other side of things, you get to see, you know, Dollar Tree, Captain America, I, I can't even remember, his name, like Simmons, Warren, whatever, Wilson, I can't remember him. But basically, he was the Dollar Tree version Captain America that was the white guy replacement, basically the entitled privilege veteran that thought he can just come in and fill in the shoes and just have the shield with him. We all know he went rogue towards the end and, you know, R.I.P. Lamar, the black sidekick. And let's get into that. The fact that he gave, they gave him so much, you know, atoning to blackness. He had the black best friend. He had the light-skinned biracial wife. He had the HBCU band opening up for him. I'm just like, oh my God. And mind you, we're going to see him in like later stuff because he joins you know, basically, uh, I think it's Minif Minificence or Seven. I don't know. Basically, the Dark Avengers. That who um, Luigi Dreyfus' character is, Madame L or X. Y'all, it's been two months. I can't remember that months. Um, we also got Bucky and his story and just him going through his recovery process. He basically seeks forgiveness in the people that he's hurt and he has an attachment to Sam now. Basically, basically Cap left Bucky to Sam to take care of. And Sam, you know, doesn't really see Bucky for what it is. Bucky literally, all he had was Steve. That was his only family. And now Sam is his surrogate family now. And speaking of surrogate family, um, Bucky and Sarah, listen, <laughs> I knew from that trailer, I knew from the trailer that we're going to get something from these two. And listen, he could be a good stepdaddy for the boys. Uh, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm, I'm over here fantasizing. We, we can wait for Captain America 4. Also, we're getting Captain America 4 since we got a new black Captain America. Listen to all those people who were just basically complaining when Steve gave Sam the shield at the end of Endgame. Look who's laughing now. Look who's having, laughing now. We're about to get a black Captain America. Oh, baby. Listen, I'm so excited that I get to buy my cousins another Marvel hero costume. Listen, I got them the Black Panther costume that same year it came out that summer. I did not mind spending the extra money at the Disney store, but baby, we got a black Captain America. Best believe I'm getting them all that merch. Oh, also, Sharon Carter's back. I did not expect her to turn on us like this. Granted, she's been ousted by the U.S. as a traitor, but oh my God, her story, y'all, y'all, did not expect that. Um, You can pretty much summarize, this is what I liked about the show. What I didn't like about the show was the lack of substance for Carly, who was basically the leader of this rebellion that has been rebelling because after the blip, basically people forgot about them and they were basically left destitute. So they're basically kind of the rebellion that's giving 
the, the taken from the rich, given to the poor. They're their own version of the Robin Hoods, but really they're detrimental Robin Hoods. They're rebels and they don't care who has to perish in the process of their message and their goal. And so, yeah, I didn't really feel bad when she died. So yeah, that was the short lived life of Carly. But I feel like we're going to see, you know, the flag smashers again at some point. But yeah, I know my reviews kind of everywhere, but y'all haven't done this in a minute. So I promise I will get better. I'll have more notes. Honestly, the show was great. And I'm 